complaining about Nepal. And yes, the light uh, in my place, like I said, is worse than epilepsy. No power supply in Nigeria. What do you think about this estimated billion? It's a fraud. What's your opinion? Oh, when they don't go there, they are a bunch of criminals eating our money. Do you think that it's very poor? You see, they should give us light and uh, share the meter for people so that it will be easy for us. We are here to find out more from the members of the National Assembly about the power sector and the meter asset provider regulations. My name is Honorable Ogene Ima Ego. Uh, I represent a more of the federal constituency in Lagos State. Electricity, you know, you find out that uh, a lot of people don't have uh, meters. In fact, uh, about three weeks ago, we had to go to um, the electricity board to see if we can get meter for our people. I was asked to guarantee them, which we have done, and we are hoping. You know, but besides that, power is always not available. And my riverine area is worse because they use one meter to meter a, a, a large group of people. Now, these transformers will become property of EKDC. Just for them to go and install the transformer for over a year, they did not. I had to quarrel and quarrel and quarrel, you know. They managed to install one. I had to look for money to install the second one. But these transformers are for them. So there are a lot of challenges in the power sector. I want to think that uh, those who did the privatization were probably too much in a hurry. If we are not, they did do the financials, you know, uh, well. They would have been sure that the companies who want to take over from Nepal have the resources to do this. You know, as, as you can see, they are generating more than they can take because they don't have the capacity to, to, to take enough power to distribute. So because they don't have the resources, so it's a problem. We have a lot of people who need meter, but they cannot get. And we are aware that, you know, there's an organization that is providing uh, meters. We, are aware. we have told them to tap into it. And that's where we, we had to try to guarantee the people so that they can provide their meters. A company that is handling it, it's a, it's a monopoly, nobody to compete with them, you know, and it's when they give you light that you have light, they don't give you, you don't have light. And it's the bill they give to you, that is your bill. But good enough, they now have these meters where you can even uh, use your phone to credit your account or go to the office or get. So that is an improvement. But um, meters are not available. But with that company that I've set up now, you know, the last time we had a meeting with them, we requested for about 5,000 meters for various areas in my community, you know, and so we should guarantee that the people will pay. We did. We are hoping that uh, those meters will be available as soon as possible. So, but in the eighth assembly, we had several meetings with them. We called them, you know, and. Uh, we couldn't there. Why, why is there a gap? What kind of the function for which uh, government allowed them to participate in the privatization? Like I said, you know, from that committee meeting, we came back with the pressure that they don't have enough capital base to carry out the assignment. And even with the funds government provided the first time, it, it didn't do much. Now government is trying to, we recommend them, and government is trying to provide them with another tranche of loans, which are going to be single digit, you know. So we hope that by the time that money comes, we'll be able to do something. But in the eight assembly, we handled, we, we investigated it. At the same, we even wanted to recommend that they should abrogate their uh, their contracts. But we, we felt that if you do that, international organizations will not trust Nigeria again. They will think we enter a contract into various organizations, and then we do not keep it. And we don't want that type of thing. Because it could drive away foreign investors. Yes, sir, go ahead. Uh, we're only paying the thing because we have uh, cables crossed over our roofs. Once, that, once there, there is wire or, or over your roof, you, have, you pay. So they don't care if the light comes to or, 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 or not. That's where I'm living. 
Okay, so do you use a prepared meter or you prefer estimated billing? An estimated billing, of course, there is no prepared meter within, this, within my vicinity. But what do you think about this estimated billing? It's a fraud because in a month, I think you have 24 hours in a day, but in a month you don't consume less, you consume less than 70 hours of light and you pay as if you have used a light for a, a, a whole month. So call for you don't know what they gave you, you don't know the reading, you don't know how it is read. You know, that's, that's why I say it's a fraud because there is no barometer, there is no, there is no, there is no yardstick to measure what you consume. You just wake up and give you any bill that you don't know how it is read. Where do you stay? I live in Maraba, Nasarawa. How is the power supply in your area? 70 30. 30 percent of power supply, 70 failing. But generally, how do you see the power supply in Nigeria? My dear. No power supply in Nigeria. For now, we are only enjoying what the previous governments did for us. Do you use meter or you prepared? I use meter, I use meter. Do you think they are charging you for what you consume? Or is it okay? I don't know, but I know I spend like in a month 12k, 13k. So what do you want the government to do? At least to bring the tariff down. What do you think about estimated billing? Estimated billing? Oh, my dear, don't go there. There are a bunch of criminals eating our money. A safe container will be, they will be billing a safe container of 15,000 per month, 17,000. No, 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 don't go there. Government should provide meter for every house.